BTS keep breaking records. Here's why K-pop phenoms BTS keep breaking records. Here's why it's official. The seven stars of BTS, J-Hope, Jin, V, Jungkook, Jimin, Suga and Erm, have created an army of worldwide fans. As they continue to break records, it's become increasingly clear that the K-pop titans are currently the most visible representatives of where mainstream pop music, American pop music in particular, is headed. Now, K-pop itself is certainly nothing new, the genre in its contemporary form has been around since the 90s. So, what is it about BTS that has America in such a frenzy? Here are five major reasons why the seven-piece band stands apart from the pack, and why they're unlikely to slow down anytime soon. 1. BTS Defy Expectations at first glance, and considering the industry's ups and flows, it might be easy to write BTS off as just another musical fad. But that would be underestimating BTS' power to connect with audiences, not only do their steady stream of albums touch on important topics like self-love and follow a developing story arc, last year BTS packed arenas on their Love Yourself Global Tour. The North American leg alone, which brought the boys to eight cities, had four sold-out shows at the 21,000-capacity Staples Center in Los Angeles. And their first-ever stadium show in the U.S., at New York City's City Field, welcomed 40,000 loyal fans for another sold-out show. What's more, BTS openly experiment with K-pop and boy band aesthetics, crossing genres and subverting expectations. They defy gender norms and push aside outdated ideas of pop star masculinity via their fashion and music choices, not unlike other young, modern stars like Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny. In their live review, the LA Times noted BTS' thrillingly evolved presentation of gender, with multiple costume changes, including frilly white blouses and baggy tracksuits, and playful on-stage interactions, the effect was a welcome disruption of what we expect a male heartthrob to look and sound like, a radical cultural act made only more encouraging by how enthusiastically it was received by the diverse crowd inside Staples Center, Michael Wood, a pop music critic for the paper, wrote. 2. And gracefully crosses genres additionally, in his review of the NYC show, longtime New York Times pop music critic John Caramonica eloquently summarized how BTS music is more than just dairy takes on bubblegum pop. Those albums, Love Yourself, Tear and Love Yourself, Answer, show how BTS navigates an increasingly variegated and complex sound, chain smokers s EDM pop 1990s are. As singers and rappers, the members are gifted. As dancers and performers, they are nimble. And at this show, their execution was relaxed, Kari Monica said. 3L7 members offer unique talents to the group at first glance, 7 members may sound like a lot for a group that doesn't actively play instruments. But, as any ARMY member will be surely attest, Jin, V, Jungkook, Jimin, J-Hope, Suga and ARMY each play an important role in shaping who BTS are. For starters, the band splits duties between rapping and singing. And, unlike boy bands of yesteryear, there are no de facto leaders or frontmen. Erm, who is fluent in English, often speaks on behalf of the group, but he is not necessarily the lead member. More, BTS on the creative process, breaking records, their responsibility as artists. Each member was given a solo turn as well, V's sensual are. Their music feels authentic to fans while BTS have clearly mastered how to look and sound good, they do more than just draw people in with catchy hooks and eye-catching clothes and hair. They tackle important issues, like mental health and self-love. The group acknowledges the importance of serving as role models to so many young people around the world. In Korea, K-pop stars are even referred to as idols, and BTS don't take that responsibility lightly. Back in Sept. 2018, the Grammy Museum hosted a conversation with BTS, where 300 fans listened to the group talk about a breadth of topics, including their responsibility as artists. That makes us think more about our responsibilities, how we should act, how we should make our music. 
so it makes us think more deeply about what we do, how responsible we should be about what we're doing, and the music we're making, Young Cook said. They also discussed their creative process and how they work collaboratively as a team, as well as with Bang Si Hyuk, the head of their label, Big Hit Entertainment. When we had our conversation with Mr. Bang when we first started out, he always emphasized that we should sing about our own experiences, our own thoughts, our own feelings. So, that has always been at the center of the music that we made, Erm explained. He also emphasized their collaborative process as bandmates. We try to participate together as much as we can. I think our participation in the process makes the music more sincere, make the songs more sincere, and that changes our attitude about how we approach our songs, Erm said. Even more, BTS, fans gave us the wings that allowed us to be where we are. 5. BTS think of their ARMY as family You can't talk about BTS record-breaking rise without also highlighting their loyal ARMY, which stands for Adorable Representative MC for Youth. In fact, BTS has two official Twitter accounts, at the time of this writing, at BTS underscore TWT is home to 18.5 million followers. The ARMY also has their own Twitter account, which has sent out a fervent 116k tweets to date, and the BTS official YouTube page has over 15.6 million subscribers. Yet just as fans support BTS, BTS supports their fans. All in their mid to early 20s, the members of BTS know how to use social media as a tool to connect with their millions of admirers online, giving fans regular access or updates on their lives. While many social media users at risk of falling into feelings of isolation the more they like and scroll, BTS actively leverage positivity on social media. Fans follow suit, filling BTS' YouTube page with upbeat, supportive chatter. Together with their fans, BTS creates a giant, supportive family. I just got home from work, and then what? My Twitter account exploded. Am I dreaming? At BTS underscore TWT congratulations. You really made it. I stan legends. Takeover is only just getting started. Following the announcement of BTS new 2019 tour dates, fans took to Twitter to share in the excitement, with some wondering if this was how their parents felt when the Beatles toured. Others pointed out the significance of some of the venues, for example, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, where BTS will be performing on May 4th, is a football stadium with a capacity of 90,888. Rose Bowl concerts are reserved for the likes of the Rolling Stones and Beyonce and Jay-Z, who brought their OTR2 tour for two nights to the huge venue last September. The numbers don't lie, between record and ticket sales, streaming numbers, self-aware lyrics and a fervent fan base, BTS have tapped into a formula for history-making success, in America and all over the world. All the ways BTS won our hearts at the 2019 Grammys 5 ways BTS won our hearts at the 2019 Grammys All ways BTS won our hearts 2019 Grammys The 7 members of K-pop phenomenon BTS, J-Hope, Jin, V, Jungkook, Jimin, Suga and Erm, were clearly as excited as their fans were for their first appearance at the 61st Grammy Awards. From arriving in style to dancing in their seats to more firsts as they took the stage, let's count down the top 5 ways the boys of BTS stole the show, and our hearts. 5. Looking dapper in tuxes the South Korean group always has a strong style game, but their understated pizzazz in matching black and white tuxedos really elevated their look on their first Grammy's red carpet. Their excitement to be a part of music's biggest night was palpable as they exited the SUV, posed for their first photos of the evening and made their way to the carpet. 4. Coily teasing new music on the red carpet Once they were on the carpet, the Recording Academy shared a special moment with the boys by asking few burning questions. When we asked when we could expect a new album, they teased with just enough info to get fans buzzing. It's gonna be real soon, Erm said. 
When asked if it would be a collab album, Erm gave a coy answer, while Jimin looked straight into the camera and said, There could be a collaboration song and some joint songs, we don't know, we're working on it. They also shared their excitement about seeing H.E.R., Lady Gaga and Travis Scott perform at the Grammys. Back in September, during their visit to the Grammy Museum, BTS shared that they'd been listening to a lot of Scott's sicko mode, so the boys were definitely ready to dance. More BTS, fans gave us the wings that allowed us to be where we are. 3. Dropping even more collab hints BTS. Photo, Kevin Winter, Getty Images In addition to being ready to watch some of their favorite US-based artists live for the first time, BTS named dropped H.E.R., Scott and Gaga all as their dream collaborators. As they told Variety in another playful red carpet interview, they would love to work with the aforementioned artists, along with Camila Cabello, too. At BTS underscore TWT picked at twitter.com slash Rio MV7 Sklevin, Dr. Bangton, at Der Bangton 1, February 11, 2019 The boys seemed to be having the most fun of pretty much everyone when Dolly Parton took the stage for a big medley with some very special guests to celebrate her being the 2019 Music Airs Person of the Year. As the cameras cut to the audience during Parton and Goddaughter Miley Cyrus, Jolene, duet BTS could be seen dancing and singing along enthusiastically. Clearly anyone sitting near them had the best seats in the house, and the BTS army was quick to make the joyful moment viral. Related BTS on the creative process breaking records, their responsibility as artists. becoming the first K-pop group to present a Grammy in addition to having a blast at their first Grammys, the boys made history as the first K-pop group to present an award in the show's 61 years. They took the stage at Staples Center for the first time to present H.E.R., one of the artists they were stoked to see, with Best R. As they told Variety on the carpet, it was their first time ever presenting an award, so it was quite a monumental day of highs and big firsts for the boys. From Dolly to H.E.R., 10 unforgettable 2019 Grammys moments Blackpink break new record with DDU Do DDU Do Blackpink's DDU Do DDU Do Most viewed music video K-pop group Jenny, Rose, Jisoo and Lisa, aka Blackpink, have broken another record. DDU Do DDU Do is now the highest viewed video on YouTube by a K-pop group. The video has taken the place of BTS DNA, which now sits at second place. Today Billboard reported the news after they spoke with a YouTube representative on Jan. 22, who confirmed that Blackpink's DDU Do DDU Do held the top spot with 620.9 million views, followed by BTS DNA at 618.9 million. At the time of this writing Blackpink continues to lead the charge, as their video, which was released on June 15, 2018, has jumped to over 622.7 million views, while BTS's video, released almost a year earlier on Sept. 18, 2017, now has over 620.2 million. The increase of almost 2 million views in a day, while impressive, is nothing new for the all-female K-pop group taking the world by storm. As highlighted by Billboard, since its release on June 15, the music video for DDU Do DDU Do has averaged 2.5 million views per day while January's daily views have averaged 1.95 million, according to YouTube. When the catchy song dropped in June, infused with both bubblegum pop sounds and trap beats, it debuted on Billboard's biggest all-genre chart, the Hot 100, at No. 55. This made it the first song from an all-female K-pop group to land on the chart in 10 years, since Wonder Girls in 2008. The quartet returned to the Hot 100 in November, when Kiss and Makeup, their collab with Grammy nominee Dua Lipa, also charted. The song is featured on the UK pop star's extended re-release of her debut album, Dua Lipa, Complete Edition, and is sung in English and Korean. If you're itching to catch Blackpink live in the US, you're in luck. They will be performing at Coachella 2019, the first all-female K-pop group to ever do so, and have announced a 2019 world tour with soon-to-be-announced dates in North America.
Meet Blackpink, the latest, greatest K-pop phenomenon behind the board, Teddy Walton behind board producer Teddy Walton working Kendrick Lamar What makes great track producer, songwriter Teddy Walton, born Travis Walton, has a simple yet clear approach to making a great track, one of the essentials being that everyone is having fun, which Walton says is the most important part of making music. He has worked with a range of underground and big-name artists, including hip-hop heavy hitters J-Rock, Kendrick Lamar and Nipsey Hussle. Walton first worked with Kendrick on Love, from the Grammy-winning album Damn, and most recently with On, King's Dead, which won Best Rap Performance at the 61st Grammy Awards. Walton also explains how growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, has influenced his music and who he is as a person, allowing him to work well with all kinds of artists. He got his start working with his brother, rapper June, and while they didn't really grow up in a musical family, they learned together, releasing an album called EVOL in 2012. No matter who he works with, Walton keeps the setup simple, working mostly with a laptop out of his home. He elaborates on how he likes to work organically and connect the dots as he works, while I'm making the beat I'm thinking up some words. That's just me, really, I can't even finish the beat if I don't really know that at least the hook's gonna be tight. He also talks about his two biggest musical influences, his brother and Kendrick, and how working with June has shaped who he is today. Watch an exclusive interview with Walton above to learn more about his craft. Behind the board, Harvey Mason Jr on the role, meaning of being a producer.